Hello, how to solve this? We have 3 to the power of t and this equals t to the power of 9. We are solving for the value of t that satisfies this equation. So, this is t here. And this is also t. So, what we can do at this point will be to move all the variables to one part of this equation. So, I can decide to eliminate this t right here. So I'm going to have 3 to the power of t. And for me to do that, I can raise this to the power of 1 over t. And this equals t to the power of 9. And also raise it to the power of 1 over t. Now let's consider this index log. If you have a to the power of n, raise to the power of n. This equals a to the power of n times m. I can apply this identity right here and right here. So what I'm going to have will be 3 to the power of t times 1. That is t divided by t. And this equals t to the power of 9 times 1. That is 9 and we have divided by t. So right now, I can cancel this out. So I have 3. And this equals t3 power of 9 over t. Now, if you observe, we have a variable here. And we have another variable here at the denominator of this exponent. But here is 9. So I can also decide to eliminate this 9 here and move it over here. So for me to achieve that, I will multiply each of these exponents by 1 over 9. So I'm going to have 3 to the power of 1 over 9. And this equals t to the power of 9 over t. And this is raised to the power of 1 over 9. Now I still make use of the same identity. a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. So I need to multiply this out. That means I'm simply going to have 3 to the power of 1 over 9. And this equals t to the power of 9 times 1. That is 9 divided by t times 9. That is 9t. And right now, the 9 can't cancel the 9 here. So what I'm going to have is simply 3 to the power of 1 over 9. And this equals t to the power of 1 over t. Now, if you observe very well, there's t here at this base, and there's t here. And we only have 1 here. Now, this is 3 at this base, and there's 9 here. So, for us to solve this further, we need to ensure that the base here is the same as what we have here, so that it will align with the fact that the t is just the same as what we have here. Now, for us to achieve this, we can decide to make use of this concept of equivalent fractions. For instance, I can rewrite this as 3 to the power of 1 times 1 over 9. And this equals t to the power of 1 over t. Now, if you observe, why am I having this one here? Now, the reason I'm having this one here is for me to make use of these equivalent fractions. If I have 2 divided by 2, this is just like writing 1. And this also equals 3 divided by 3, which is the same thing as 1. So, instead of me writing 1 here, I'm going to replace it with 3 over 3. Why? Because if I replace it with 3 over 3, I'm going to end up having the base to be the same as what we have here. So you just wash out. So I'm simply going to have this as 3 to the power of, instead of writing 1 here, I have 3 divided by 3, which is the same thing as 1, times 1 over 9. And this equals t to the power of 1 over t. Now, I can decide to multiply this out. So I have 3 to the power of 3 times 1. That is 3 divided by 3 times 9. 
that is 27. This equals t to the power of 1 over t. Now, I can decide to factor out this 3 from here. So I can have it as 3 to the power of, this is 3 times 1 over 27. Because if I multiply 3 times 1, I'm going to have 3 and half divided by 27. So this equals t to the power of 1 over t. Now, let's consider this other identity. If you have a power n times n, this equals a to the power of n or to the power of n. So by applying this identity right here, what I'm going to have will be 3 to the power of 3. And this is raised to the power of 1 over 27. And this equals t to the power of 1 over t. So we need to find the value of 3 to the power of 3. And it's obvious that 3 to the power of 3 is 27. That is 3 times 3 times 3. So what I'm having here is just 27 to the power of 1 over 27. And this equals t to the power of 1 over t. Now we have achieved something very remarkable because this is the same as what we have here and this is the same as what we have here and the one are the same. So if you have a to the power of 1 over a and this equals b to the power of 1 over b, I can decide to equate this exponent. So I can say 1 over a equals 1 over b. And if I cross multiply a times 1, I have a equals b times 1, that is 2. So that is exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to equal this. So where I do that, I'm going to have 1 divided by 27 equals 1 over t. So I can decide to cross multiply. t multiplies 1. That is t equals 27 multiplies 1. I have 27. So this is our value. Now, as usual, we are going to insert this particular value back into this particular equation. And let's check if it's going to satisfy this equation. I have t equals 27. So let me insert it back. I have 3 to the power of t equals t to the power of 9. And I have 27 here. So I'm going to have 3 to the power of 27 equals 27 to the power of 9. And from here, I can simply have 3 to the power of 27 is simply 3 times 9. So I have 3 times 9, that's 27. And this equals 27 to the power of 9. So going back to this identity, a power n times n equals a power n or to the power of n. I am applying this identity here. I'm simply going to have 3 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 9 equals 27 to the power of 9. And from here, I can find 3 power 3, that is 3 times 3 times 3. And that is 27 to the power of 9. And this equals 27 to the power of 9. So the meaning of this is that the left hand side of this equation equals the right hand side. And this solidifies our solution. So that is it. Thank you and see you again.